active elevation, we assess pain and range of motion. Passive elevation, again we assess pain and range of motion. Grasp the elbow, not the forearm, in order to test the elastic end feel. Then we look for a painful arc. We ask the patient to lift his arm and to inform us about a possible pain, where and when is it felt. A painful arc can also be provoked in other ways. Passive test for the glenohumeral joint. Compare both sides. Abduction. The thumb fixes the inferior angle of the scapula. The arm is raised passively until we feel the end of the glenohumeral movement. The scapula remains fixed. We assess pain and range of motion. Lateral rotation. It is important to immobilize the patient's contralateral shoulder and the therapist has to step slightly backwards to reach the real end of range in a very mobile patient. We assess pain, range of motion and end feel. Elastic. Medial rotation. Avoid doing a retropulsion instead of a medial rotation. Therefore, we block the upper arm with our trunk. We assess pain, range of motion and end feel. Elastic. Don't stop at the first pain, because a painful arc on medial rotation is possible. Resisted test, we assess pain and weakness. Adduction, we mainly test pectoralis major, latissimus dorsi, teres major and minor. Abduction, we mainly test the integrity of supraspinatus and deltoid. Lateral rotation. We ask the patient to keep his elbow against his body and not to abduct his arm. The resistance is given proximal from the wrist. We test infraspinatus and teres minor. Medial rotation. We mainly test the integrity of subscapularis and teres major. Elbow flexion. We think of biceps and brachialis. Elbow extension. We think of triceps.